HTTP module in Node.js. If you haven't seen that video already, um, then there's a link just here for it right now. Um, go ahead and watch this one and uh, then come back and then watch this one. All right, um, so if you like any of these videos, then please make sure you like them. If you don't like them, then dislike it, but write a comment for me to tell me uh, what it is that you do and you don't like. Um, also, I'm gonna make in, um, lots and lots of videos over the next weeks, so just subscribe and uh, uh, press the, the bell button so you get notified when I create new videos. All right, enough with the, the advertising, <laughs> let's, let's move on. Okay, so um, let's go over to Visual Studio Code. As you can see here, I've got a very, very basic um, HTTP server set up already. Now, the, the whole point of this is understanding how to handle a post request. Okay, it's all well and good being able to get the data and send it back, but you need to know why and when you're going to be handling a post request and reading the data because a GET request doesn't send a body. Okay, a post request does send a body. Um, and so if it's a GET request, you don't need to read the body. Um, you, only, you only care about the body when it's really not a GET request. Okay, but let's just stay with POST request. So first thing is how do you work out that you actually are handling a POST request using the HTTP module? Well, this is under the request.method um, property. So here what we can say is then switch request uh, method and we'll say um, in this situation, post, all right? And, uh, whoops, and we'll just say break here, all right? Uh, yeah, we'll just say break here. We, we won't handle it for now, we're just going to ignore it. Um, or we'll, uh, we'll say response and response. Status code equals 200 whatever, and we'll return out of here. So we know we're handling the post request here, okay? Okay, so now we know that we've got the post request, um, we can start reading the body contents. Because like I said, a get request doesn't have a body content. So now we do have this, we want to read the data that's in uh, the request. So let's start by creating our buffer, and uh, we'll say uh, request, on data. Now, if you haven't seen the other video already, I go through this in the other video. So, and this data receives a chunk of data. Now, in the last video, I just said, well, it isn't any. That is totally correct. It is just an any, but essentially it is a buffer, okay? And uh, what we want to do is then just say data plus equals chunk, all right? And this is going to append the, the data to, yeah, <laughs> append that chunk um, to the data. It, we could go one step further on to, uh, with this, but this is enough uh, because we're appending a, an array of, of bytes to, not gonna talk about it. Anyway, so once we, we want to know once we've finished, we can then say, whoops, on, uh, on end, and we know that the, the, the data is now being written to, and we've got the data. So we can now say um, response end. Now, predominantly a post request is normally creating something. Okay, so the, the response status code um, should be like 201 to say created. Now, um, you also want to be able to handle what Obviously, now that you've got this data, you want to be able to pass the data somehow, okay? Now, you also want to know what type of um, content type it is in order to pass it, because if, um, if you've got application JSON, then you can just use json.pass, and then you now have the JavaScript object that you require. If you are um, using um, form data, you now need to pass the, that data into key value pairs. So you're gonna to have to pass it. In this situation, let's just check that we've got 
um, content type application JSON. Otherwise, we'll say that it's a bad request. All right. So we'll we'll say request dot uh, headers content type is not equal to application JSON. Then return first of all, and response ends and response um, status code is equal to 400 and we can write if you if you want we'll, what we'll do in this situation is I believe if you're creating a rest um, API then you should always return with JSON as well in my opinion if they're asking for application JSON you should send application JSON back that's just my opinion so we'll set a header here and we'll say hey I've got a content type of you wanted application JSON, so I'll give you application JSON. Or you sent application JSON, I'll return with application JSON. Okay, so let's now write uh, stringify and let's write our um, code equals in this situation 400 error. And we'll say message equals bad requests. Okay, so we've been informative to the to the client to say uh, what's going on and what's wrong. Okay, so let's go over to Postman um, to run this. Now, if we're not, let's not send application JSON first of all, and let's. Oh, we didn't start the server. Okay, now the server started, we can run it again. And now we can look at the body and we see that we're, we're receiving application JSON, which is good. So we look at the headers and we can see that we've got application JSON and we're being, we're being helpful to the server to tell them what's going on. We've told them the code and we've told them um, an error as well. Now, this is all good. So let's now send the actual correct content type and we get the 201 created. Um, so in this situation, we'll, we'll set the header right at the top to say, hey, we're going to we're going to respond with application JSON. Let's copy this. And we can say 201. And we're not going to have an error because there's no error. And we'll say data is then data. All right. So the data that they sent us, we'll just send. We'll just send back. So let's restart the server. Come here, and so we're sending this ID with with the ID, and we're expecting to see that coming back with the correct um, headers. So let's send it again. Okay, we get the correct headers of application JSON. We get the 201, and the body is um, okay. It's Yeah, okay, well, we we um, we were stringifying, so we'll, we'll just to make have it make it more sense, we'll pass the data and then we'll stringify it again. Let's send it again, and now we can see that we get it, it correctly. Okay, so this is essentially how you handle a post request. Now, if you're going to handle um, uh, another content type obviously you're going to need to um, convert the the data to uh, key value pairs and so on in order to handle it there's other libraries out there but this is all about how to handle it in the most raw um, form okay uh, there's other frameworks um, and libraries like Express and so on that do this all for, all for you and have middleware. But the whole point is this, is be, to be able to understand handling a post request and why you're reading the body um, content data, all right? Okay, I hope that this has been informative for you. Um, if you do like this and it did help you, um, it helps me a great deal if you like these videos. Um, if you want to comment to give me any feedback, please 
write write the comments in uh, below but you can't understand how much this helps me if you just like these videos okay and uh, if there are any other things that you want me to 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 talk about then please um, contact me directly or, or write it in, in the, con um, the comments below. Okay, that's it. My name's David Thorne and uh, I really appreciate it if you've watched all the way to the end. And uh, I'm guessing if there's a, a next video, then uh, it will be here uh, right now or otherwise one of the buttons here. Thanks very much. I wish you a nice day. Bye-bye.